Hi, my name's Notgull, and I'd like to talk about Rust. It's one of the best things to happen to programming, in my opinion. Uh, however, the learning curve can be pretty high. I've always felt like the best way to understand these concepts is to be concise and practical, so I'm going to try to explain how to get a basic Hello World program up and running in as little time as possible. Note that these tutorials are aimed towards people who already have a beginner's level of programming experience. However, I will try to add little pop-ups to explain vernacular that might be unclear for the inexperienced. First, go to rustup.rs. This is the Rust updater. It'll have you either download an executable to run, or something to copy-paste into your command line. Once you've run Rustup, open the command line, type in cargo, and press enter to verify that cargo has been installed. Cargo is Rust Package Manager. You not only use it to download Rust libraries, but also to make and run Rust libraries and executables. At your command line, type in cargo new hello-world and press enter. This creates the executable package known as Hello World. You can name it just about anything you want. Using your file viewer of choice, you can verify that it created the Hello World folder in your home directory or equivalent. Inside this folder, you'll find two files. First, cargo.toml. This file describes certain details regarding the package, including dependencies. We'll talk about this more later. src slash main.rs is what we're interested in. If you open it, you'll find that it already contains a basic Hello World program, which we'll analyze in a minute. To run this program, we'll go back to our terminal, type in cd hello-world to change the current directory to the Hello World package, and then type cargo run to run the package. You'll see some stuff about the program compiling and running, followed by the text Hello World. Congratulations, you've created Hello World! Let's break down this program. fn is how you define a function, and here we're defining the main function. The main function is a special function that the computer looks for when you run the executable as the program's entry point, or the first thing that it runs. Every statement within these curly brackets is considered to be a part of the function. In this case, there is only one statement, the print line macro. What a macro is is outside the scope of this tutorial, but print line just means print a line's worth of text to the console. In this case, the line is hello world, which, if we check, is what was printed to the console. Great, now we know how to do something that can be done with basically every language, big whoop. However, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Give me just a few more minutes of your time, and I might be able to show you just what makes Rust so special.